So today we're looking at food and actually being conscious of the colours we eat for the food we put in our body is a form of colour therapy. So how does this work? Well, food falls into different colour categories. So red foods tend to be very high energising foods. They're also considered to be acidic foods. At the other end of the scale, we have our alkaline foods, which are sort of blues and purples, and these are much calming. So deciding to have different colour foods at different times of the day can actually really affect our energy levels. A great way to start the morning, therefore, would be to have some of this energising red, perhaps by adding strawberries into your breakfast cereal, or raspberries, or bright red cherries. They will really give you a fantastic start to the day. Then as the day goes on, we want to try and move into the more blue areas. Just before bed, the last thing you want to do is have a big slice of strawberry tart. Instead, opt for blueberry tart and the cooling calm properties of blue. Now the colours in the centre of the food spectrum tend to fall into yellows, browns and greens. Now these are all the natural foods that fill us with incredible nutrients and it's a reason why you should always eat your greens because greens really are a life force colour and a life force energy. And it also explains why having a mug of milk before you go to bed can actually help you sleep better because milk has a real connection to grass, that's where its origins are. But even plant-based milk as well comes from the greenness of plants so it can really make us feel cool, calm, collected and ready for bed. So next time you're eating, don't just think about making sure you get all your 10 a day. Start to think about the colours you're eating and what time you're eating and how that can affect the energy in your day.